Hello everyone and welcome to uh, Grace Farms for Wonder. Today we are diving into the exciting world of growing dragon fruits at home. As you can see, this is here in Kigali at our home. We have a sugar dragon a variety. We have American Beauty. The sugar dragon is a nice red as well as a universal pollinator. This variety we've been growing for the past year as well as the American Beauty on this pole that you see here. I mean, if you grow this plant, you see the buds have already started coming out and it's very exciting. As you see, early this morning, I was taking this video. We want to test these fruits as well as propagate them through our farm, the Grace Farm, as we, after testing them. On this other post, uh, this uh, flower pot, we have another variety. We have the red Viennese, as well as the physical uh, graffiti. These varieties are also very nice, and I got them from California, where I was moving here, and we just planted them in the uh, flower pots, and they are doing very, very well in this environment. You can see um, some buds on them as well and there you have another um, pole set that I'm trying to build to construct to plant other dragon fruit varieties inside. In this one we also have, you see the flowers that have come out, there's a Hanan white as well as the dark star. They're also going, in, these varieties are going in this pot, therefore they um, got some flowers and see they are really doing well. This is a typical dry season and you see how uh, insects are pollinating the flowers. This is in front of our house here in Kigali. We are very excited and really waiting to have, test these fruits once they go big in the coming um, about 40 days or more. Yes, yeah, so this is the setup that we just did and here you see the bee pollinating the dragon fruit flower. It's, you have to take note that these flowers uh, open just one day uh, in the one night. You see the ones behind the, this one, they, have, they open the previous day. The bees will pollinate it early in the morning when they open and by 12, p, uh, <coughs> 12 p.m. in the afternoon and the flowers will close so uh, then the fruit will start to develop from there the bees come early in the morning with other insects uh, to pollinate the flowers we were, I was so lucky to capture this footage uh, for these bees as well as um, other insects that were pollinating the other flowers like this one See how insects were having a feast early in the morning, pollinating, get the pollens from the antennas and they put them in the stigma. So the insects are there. And this is very nice. At the farm, what we did is we have a beehive, put some bees in the farm to help uh, do the pollination very early in the morning. So. Um, so that we don't do um, cross pollination uh, physically, but this is natural pollination by animals. We are so lucky. Kigali um, has all these insects standby, ready to pollinate uh, flowers. It will be an exciting one to test these fruits and see how sweet or they are this uh, different environment and the dragon star the hana white physical graffiti red vietnamese american beauty and sugar dragon they are all doing work very well this environment we look forward to giving uh, these fruits to with curtains to be able to plant them at their homes as well as in their little gardens. You can contact us at Grace Farms 
to get some cuttings from the farm where we have a lot of these dragon fruits uh, doing very well. And uh, the, variety we, the variety we have at the farm presently is the Moroccan way. We are so uh, grateful that the climate has been not that harsh for the fruits and so we are seeing a lot of changes happening without uh, any diseases so far we have encountered any. See how the pieces are pollinating the pollen the plant, the flower, sorry. And uh, we observe that the fruits are already developing, like this one you see here after the flowers close, the fruits start to develop underneath. There's another bud that's coming out. So it's fruits developing the flowers as well. And then uh, you can also see how fresh and Join us in this journey. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the latest on notification, hit the notification bell for, so that you get more updates when we'll be testing these fruits as we and when we'll harvest them. And this has been an exciting journey. You can also do this at your home. It doesn't need a lot of maintenance. All you do is just to plant. To set, to set this up is easy. You just get the flower pot, some sticks, and mainly be this yourself. So, I, I just tried it and it's, it works. So we are looking forward to taste, eat some different dragon fruit varieties, and also do some crafting. What's best for this climate? How big the fruits will be? If you are interested, contact us. I'll leave our contact in the description below. And you will get some very nice cuttings from Grace Farm. Don't forget to subscribe. And we look forward to sharing this experience with you and go to and see how nice the fruits and see how they have developed. This is after a couple of weeks. So the fruits are developing. They're doing so well. Thank you very much for watching this video. We'll keep you updated.